Good morning guys. In today's tutorial, we'll be touching JMeter plugins. So for example, you have already seen that there are some thread groups types and some type of listeners that are already in JMeter. But there are more plugins which you can add to your JMeter to, you know, give you a enhanced functionality. For example, if you want thread groups of different types, maybe listeners of different types. So today's topic, we'll be touching thread group plugins and listeners plugin. So before I show you how to download plugin and install in JMeter, so let's see what I mean by plugin. So if I open my JMeter now, so and right click on thread threads, thread group. So I three three kind of thread groups here. Thread group, setup thread group and tear down thread group, right? So if I add any of those and then I see what listeners I have, so I have these. So by plugin, I mean there could be different type of listeners which have been written using programming language, maybe JS223. So if we want to add those listeners to our JMeter as per, you know, if your load is such that you cannot configure using this scenario, so you can always add a different type of, you know, thread group that can make you generate that kind of load. So let's open Mozilla and go to JMeter plugins. Click on this. So here it will be listed all kinds of plugin that you know you can download and add to your JMeter. For example, Playmeters, step-by-step -step debugger, performance monitors, WebSocket, Hadoop, merge results. There are 60 more plugins that you can see. So these are the type of graphs. If you want to add more of them, then this is the thread group. So as first of our topic is about thread group, so what else I can use as my thread group, you know? So let's try this stepping thread group. So you can read the description here what it is like. So I'm not going into that much of depth because you know everyone can read them on your own. So this is the screen. So let's download. So you click on down no downloads for this session. Let's say two dot one save file. Okay, so this download is complete now. Go to this file. So the one is the lib folder, so you can extract to say E drive and create a new folder, say okay, and then extract. Oh, was it inside the JMeter or outside? Let's do it again. Extract, E drive, new folder. Oh, so this inside it. Let's not do it. Cancel. So let's go to our E drive and see what is there inside the folder. So for example, if I open this, so it is giving me two extensions. So what I have to do to use this extension in JMeter is like I have to copy both of these extensions and go to your JMeter directory folder, go to lib and extension and paste it here. So now you see both of them in your JMeter extensions but it won't work until you restart your JMeter. So let's see what else was inside this lib JMeter plugin. Let's try to copy this and put the same here if it is lib extension. Okay. So let's go to JMeter, close it and reopen it. Bin launch the JMeter batch file. The JMeter is opening now. 
so now when I right click thread I see at least five thread groups that are more than what I used to see earlier so for example if we use the stepping thread group so what does this say this is a very good way of generating load so for example this says this group will start 100 threads so let's say we want to execute 10 threads 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 first wait for do I need to wait or just start as I click on green button so let's say wait for two seconds so it will wait for two seconds and then generate the load then start do I need to start all the threads again for example if I do like this so all my 10 threads will be up so say five threads so five threads are up now and then add 10 threads every 30 seconds so let's say add one thread every one second so for example I mean this is a kind of configuration which you can do as per whatever load that is required to test your scenario and these plugins are in fact very useful because these kind of things maybe you know you cannot do it from the custom plugins that you have so these are something extra scenarios which you can always take care of right so the next topic was listeners so let's see what kind of listeners I have so this was my thread group so these are the listeners flexible file writer synthesis report auto stop trigger graph generators let's say I click on graph generators then I have this lot of graphs here so click on download version 2.0 save the file go to the location extract then you can make a new folder oh I don't want it here cancel extract to let's make it in E drive new folder say listeners and extract it there so go to the folder to see what all files are there I'm sorry not this one this one live this file you have already copied there so this time you need not copy this again so copy this to extensions and the same step go to the JMeter directory lib folder extensions so these are all the extensions that your JMeter use in case you are not aware of what all things are placed in ext folder so copy it here he says that the destination already has a file named JMeter plugin manager okay let's replace the file okay close that go back to the JMeter close no come again to your JMeter directory bin folder and launch so the executable cmd dot executable file has been open and yes you have the JMeter now so now you have all the thread groups for example you select this thread and now you have the extra listener that you just downloaded that is a graph generator so there's a lot of fields out here so you may or you may not want to use this because you have a lot of plugins that may you know serve your request for example if you want to measure server hits per second so you can download this extension so it would show you something like this so these are all dependent on what scenarios you are testing so I hope the purpose of me being showing you what JMeter plugins are available in the market is being handled properly and sure you can download any plugin whatever you need as per your requirement so this is all for today's session thank you